Good morning everyone, it's me AG and today is our last day here in Athens, Greece sadly. But before we go, we have a couple of bucket list food places to hit up. We're gonna start with some gyros at Costas, a legendary place. So let's go! Yiro's place called Costas. It's very near to our hotel. Like they recently moved location, so if you're expecting them to be in the location that Google Maps says, they're not. They're just around the corner, so over there. I hear this place is pretty legendary, so I'm very excited. So it's a very simple menu. They have their kalamaki pita, which is this in a pita, and then their burger pita with some ground beef. So I couldn't really make up my mind, so I just ended up getting this with a with a with a kalamaki stick. So you get the best of both worlds. So this is their burger pita. It comes with your usual suspects of tomatoes, uh, onions, and herbs, and with a Gr uh, a ground beef patty, they split it into and put it in, and obviously some fries. Look at this baby, probably my last gyro here in Athens. Mm. This is a magical, meaty, delicious bite. Wow. Mm. Oh wow. I mean, this is some beefy goodness. The, the alpha move that I just did of combining the burger pita with a stick of uh, souvlaki kalamaki. Oh, that is, that's, the, that's the ultimate best of both worlds. You know, you got your meat juices, you got the freshness of the vegetables and the carb overload of the pita and the fries. Wow, I'm so glad I hit this place up. Costas has existed since 1946, and I can clearly see why. You know, instead of just biting it separately, I'm just gonna put it right there in the the juicy butt of the gyro, where all the juices have coagulated. <laughs> that bite was so filthy disgusting, but a filthy, disgustingly delicious, legendary bite to cap off my Costas experience. Oh, on to the next place. Welcome to the literal definition of a hole in the wall restaurant. This is the Porto Secret Underground restaurant. That's, that's what it says in Google Maps. There is no sign. It is incredibly inconspicuous. Like it's so it's so like you you could easily walk past it. It's pretty near the Athens Central Market, so you do have to do your research to know where it is. There isn't even a menu on this place. The kind old man literally just like shows you the dishes that he's pre-cooked for the day that you just select from there. I am incredibly excited for this experience. Cannot wait. That was pretty cool. The old man just told you yeah, we could pour herself a jug of wine, even though she doesn't drink. It was a very cool experience for her as well. Anyway, like pouring wines from these very, very old, just, I, I just love the feel of those old wine barrels. They must have been aging their house wine for so long. So this is their house wine straight from the barrel. I've noticed it's a bit more gold than usual than the other house white wines we've had. So maybe it's because due to the aging of the barrel, from the barrel. I'm not a wine expert, but that's just my hypothesis, I guess. Oh yeah, that's so nice. Very good. So there's absolutely no menu in this place. The old man, the kind old man, literally just gives you what he wants. It's basically, in other words, trust the man. So we got some, look, some like looks like some grilled sardines, some ozo pasta, and I feel like it's a tomato sauce with some meat. Ah, an old favorite has come back, fava beans, like my Santorinian favorite, with uh, onions and uh, other vegetables and uh, olives, your, your traditional Greek salad, and so, a bean stew in a very red, oily sauce. I'm so excited. Let's dig in. You know we have to get it, a Greek salad. Greek salad, always nice. These tomatoes are slightly sweeter than anything else I've had a while ago. Very nice, wow. I feel like there's like a, some vinaigrette action going there as well with the olive oil. This is a, this, I mean, it's a solid beef out. Okay, just dissecting this sardine. Looks very nicely grilled with some herbage going on. And I'll just get rid of some of the dinik, I mean the bones, sorry. <sighs> Sprinkle on some lemon juice. Oh, yeah. That's just good grilled sardine. Mm. Charm, flaky, 
that slight acidity from the lemon. Very nice. Okay, um, I don't know what this dish is called exactly, but it's just like a white bean soup. It's very thick, and these beans are some big boys. Look at them. So I'm just gonna grab a couple. Mm. Super soft, super creamy. Has a bit of starchiness, so it almost feels like you're eating some kind of meat in a way, you know? There's some nice vegetable stuff happening, which makes it feel a bit more light. Solid dish. I really like it. Okay, this next dish looks like some orzo pasta with some beef and a red sauce, red like slight sauce. Some, got some carrots as well. Oh, yeah. Oh my, that's just comforting to the match. It has such a heartwarming flavor. This is like quintessential winter food. The sauce is light, tomatoey, and the beef is just so tender and just very flavorful. Excellent dish. All right, I am so excited for this because fava was one of the, my favorite things when we were in Santorini. And this one looks jam-packed with other stuff like vegetables, onions, uh, peppers, and olives. Okay. Ooh. Let's take it. I love you. Mm. I love this guy. Oh. Mm. Oh. oh man, the fava is so magical. It's like it has such a complex flavor. It's not just starchy and like it's not it doesn't just have a split piece flavor. Like I've got it's got like a deep umami to it. The onions add a nice acidity, as well as the olives and the peppers. Wow, it is served cold. It's not as like the other favas I had when it was served hot. But this is uh, this is probably my favorite fava yet. So delicious! Wow. All right, let's overload this fava bite with all the veggies. Oh my goodness. Okay, yes. Oh, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Let me just add another onion there. This is what heaven looks like, everyone. Oh my. Wow. Not gonna lie, this is deceivingly some dish. One of my favorite in Europe. Not gonna lie. Wow. Gotta leave the fava plate spotless. Just cause every every single inch of this fava goodness is a treasure. Not gonna lie, a bit of an emotional moment, the last bite of fava. Honestly, Deporto, this restaurant, the old kind man over there, they're doing God's work. Incredible, incredible stuff. Oh. This when we thought we were finished, the kind old man gave us uh looks like a black eyed pea stew, I think. I think it, look, it looks like black eyed pea or some some side of some sort of a legume. Looks very light and red. Got some veggies in it as well. Oh wow. Mm. That's just beautiful, starchy and light. Wow. This is like a perfect winter warmer dish, rustic, like a riverside cottage dish. This is, oh my. Mm. Oh, that just warms the soul, that just warms the soul. Mm. And we added that dash of lemon, that slight acidity, to just elevate that dish even further, that light dish to a whole other level. Very nice. And to finish off this legendary experience here at this legendary restaurant, just an apple, just a Granny Smith apple with a sprinkling of cinnamon. Perfect light finish. All right, I can officially leave Greece happy. That was by far one of my favorite meals I've experienced here in Europe the past 30 days. The, the service, the hospitality, the, the, that, the, that Greek familial hospitality, and the food were just unparalleled. Wow, I will never forget this experience. I don't know what else could top this. I don't know what else. Oh man, this little hole in the wall. This is the quintessential example, a symbol of Greek taverna hospitality. I will never forget this meal. Head up Tom's again. Last flat white here in Athens. I've loved Athens coffee culture. A true symbiosis of the old school coffee and the new school. Oh. Amazing, that hits the spot.
math and this couldn't get any better. Oh hi, it's me, Eliana. Uh, welcome to this obscure post credit scene. But uh, here we are at Cinnabon. You might be wondering, why are you guys at Cinnabon when you guys are in Athens? Who does that? But you know why we do that. Because we live in New Zealand, baby. And we don't have that here. We don't have Cinnabon in Auckland. So anyway, we got a classic uh, Cinnabon roll, the big boy one, because we had to do it. We gotta get the middle piece. And we also got this cute little, it's already destroyed, this cute little caramel pecan Cinnabon. Anyway, I'm gonna try it out. <laughs> No. I don't care that diabetes runs in the family if I get to eat this. You know, it's well worth it. So chewy, so soft, fluffy, dense. Perfect amount of cinnamon and perfect amount of cream cheese glaze. Wow. Even though it's not warmed up, it's still perfect. Pecan caramel. Hooey. All right. Oh my goodness. Oh my. You're the, you're savage by Christian. Sorry, I just had a flashback. Back to my childhood when I was fat and chubby, but enjoying life. Oh my goodness. Basically, all the goodness of the original even leveled up with that caramel sauce and that pecan. <sighs> Because, you know, we got to get those healthy fats in there. Absolutely worth it. All right, that was it for this obscure post credit scene. We're going to fly off, and I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye. Hey guys, it's me, AG. Yeah, I did forget to do the outro back in Athens, so here I am coming at you from my room in Auckland. I just want to emphasize what a perfect way to end our six days in Athens with the incredible food that we ate at Costas and Di Porto. Di Porto especially is an experience I'll remember for the rest of my life. It's been an incredible six days in Athens and I've truly been blessed to have experienced the sights, culture, people and amazing food of this beautiful city this also ends the past month can you believe it of traveling around europe and our europe vlog series we went to barcelona venice florence rome santorini and athens and i know it sounds cliche but i truly do feel like my life and my taste buds have changed for the better for those who've stuck around since Barcelona day one, you guys are the true MVPs. For now, however, we're back in our wonderful home of Auckland, so be on the lookout for more food and travel adventures in and around Auckland and New Zealand. I know the current global situation is hindering us from ticking off whatever may be on our travel bucket list, but I hope that you are all continuing to go on your own culinary adventures in your hometowns, supporting local businesses. I hope you are all well and staying safe, and as always, thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one.